Hey, Mike Wolf from Mike Wolf Mastery coming to you from beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona today. And today I want to talk about something that comes up a lot, especially when I'm in Canada. And uh, I was just in Australia last week uh, speaking to a group of people. And a lot of people are asking, hey, you know what? Does it still make sense to invest in the United States with what's going on with the currency exchange? And both the Canadian dollar and the Australian dollar uh, at the time of making this video are sitting around 75, 76 cents compared to the US dollar. And of course, the Canadian dollar was uh, at par several years ago. So firstly, uh, the Canadian dollar does not belong at par. Uh, Americans would not be buying our exports if our dollar stayed at par. And so our government does everything in its power, usually to keep it, you know, around 75 to 85 cents is kind of the sweet spot where we typically uh, see it. So it overcorrected a little bit a few weeks ago, went down to below 70. And if you were uh, savvy, uh, you may be, uh, converted some currency at that point, brought it back to Canada if you had some American money or back to Australia. But in any case, now it, it overcorrected. It's going back to where it should be. And it's likely going to stay in that range for a while, I'm guessing. And so uh, so the answer to your question is yes, you should be investing. The United States is still on sale, still going to come back, number one. Number two, we get into real estate. It's a long-term investment. So what that means is that if you're holding on to a property 5, 10, 20 years, if you... Uh, lose a little bit on the currency, let's say you took out 100,000 and uh, you lost 5,000 or even 10,000 on the currency, uh, who cares? If you make 100 or 200,000 on the property, it's a drop in the bucket. Uh, also, it's, it's very rare you're going to have the perfect storm where you're going to pick up properties in the United States on sale, the dollar is going to be where you want it to be. All the planets are not going to align for you at any given time. There's always going to be something. You're always going to have some reason why you say, oh, well, now our dollar's at par again, which I don't think is going to happen anytime soon. But if our dollar got to par, well, I can tell you that that means, uh, you know, great, you're going to do well in the currency, but is, a, is the real estate still on sale? Maybe you miss the opportunity. So yes, get in on the opportunity. But the single biggest reason I recommend investing in the United States for foreign investors is they have something called the 1031 exchange. And the 1031 exchange is basically a, uh, a law that says that if you sell a piece of real estate, you take the proceeds, reinvest in another property or properties, uh, that means that you're, you don't have to pay the capital gains tax. It gets deferred. And in Canada, no such thing which means that every time you sell a property, you're going to pay a capital gains tax and you're only going to have left to invest whatever the government allows you to keep. So what that means to me is that, you know, you, even if you lost a little bit on the exchange, it's nothing compared to what, to what you're going to give up on the capital gains tax when you do a transaction. And, and then another really good reason is that your, your profits, if you sell a property, is going to be paid in U.S. dollars. Your rent that comes in every single month, that comes in in U.S. dollars. If you're flipping properties, you definitely want to be doing it in the U.S. because you're going to get a nice bonus on every paycheck. And so, you know, my students are going to the tax deed auctions in Texas that are picking up properties for next to nothing. I had a, a student pick up a property for $7,000 at this last auction, single family home his profits are going to be in U.S. dollars. So he's getting a nice bonus. And so there's a whole bunch of different reasons, reasons why you definitely want to get invested in the U.S. Get in on the opportunity before you miss it. Uh, the exchange is uh, something that, you know, it's an inconvenience. It'd be nice if it was a par again, but it's not going to be anytime soon. So you can either keep your money in the bank or you could buy properties in Canada and get taxed to death or you can go and get yourself started in something that makes a lot more sense where you're going to get better returns on your investment and you're going to get to your goals a lot quicker. So I'm Mike Wolf. If you enjoyed this uh, video and found it helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, if you'd like a free strategy session, uh, feel free to email me at mike at mikewolfmastery.com and I'd be happy to help you get started in your investing or help take you to the next level if you're already doing it. And I can also get you a free session with one of my uh, tax specialists who can help you if you're, you're wondering, hey, how do I get started? Uh, how do I, what kind of entities do I want to set up? I can get you a free strategy session with them too. So thanks for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.